Robert Merced and today I'm here to give you instructions and show you step-by-step -step how to install the GFCI outlet in your home or your place of business. Follow me and I'll show you how. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to go over to the main panel you want to shut the power off to the outlet where you're going to be working. You do not want to work with live wires. Once the power is off, then you're going to check it on the other side. Make sure you have no power over there. Alright, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, now that we shut off the power at the circuit breaker, now we got to make sure that we don't have any power at the outlet. So what I use is a voltage tester. They sell it at Home Depot or Lowe's for 10, 15 bucks, and it's very easy to use. Um, I'll show you exactly how it is. I'm going to move the camera so you can see this outlet here on my right has power. This one should not have power because we shut off the circuit breaker. So I'm going to show you what happens when you have power and you use one of these testers. You hear that noise? Whenever you got power, you're going to get that noise. If you, if you don't hear that noise, that means you have no power. If you hear the noise, you have power. Okay, now we're going to test the outlet that we're actually going to be working on. This outlet has no power. It has no power and we're ready to roll. Okay, now we're going to get a little close up so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, now that we know we have no power in the outlet, the first thing you want to do is you don't want to take the cover plate off. There is a, a screw, a flathead screw, located in the center of the outlet, in the center of the cover. What you do is you take a flathead screwdriver and you loosen that screw up. take the cover off. <clears throat> Once the cover is off, you have two screws, top and bottom. Most of the time they're Phillips screws, so you take a Phillips screwdriver and you loosen the bottom screw. Or then you loosen the top. Then you pull it out easy. And if you notice, there's three wires. You got your black, black wire, which is your hot wire. You got your copper wire, which is your ground wire, and your white wire, which is your neutral wire. Your white wire is neutral, your, your copper wire is ground, and your black one is hot. Okay, so since right now there's no power in here, you have nothing to worry about. Now. In removing these, okay, you just loosen the screws and take the wires off. ground wire. Now that you have everything removed, take your GFCI. Remember, the brass screw is for your hot wire. Your black wire is your hot wire. So your black wire goes to the brass screw. Your white wire goes to the white screw. Your copper wire goes to the green screw. The, the copper wire that has no covering on it, no plastic, no nothing, that's your ground wire. It's going to go to the green screw. Okay, the brass screw is going to hold your hot wire and your white wire is going to go to the silver screw. Okay, so now what you do, and you want to straighten these out because the newer boxes come different. You straighten these out. Now you have straight points. Uh, you want to make sure you have maybe three quarters of an inch to play with. Okay, now you take your GFCI and on the side where that has the brass screw, you're going to see two little holes in the back. 
See the little holes back here? If you look right here, you have two little holes. This wire, the black wire is going to go on the brass side inside one of those holes. Once you put it in that hole, you tighten it up. You tighten it up and it's in place. Now you're going to repeat the same thing on the opposite side with the white wire. The white wire is going to go on the side with the silver screw. Once you do that, once you put it in, you tighten it up. You tighten it up. Bam. Now you're going to look for your green screw. Your green screw is on the bottom. You connect your ground wire, which is the copper wire, to the green screw and you tighten it up and then you neatly tuck the wires into the box and push your outlet into the box, line up the screws, you tighten the screws, you put your own screw in, you tighten them up. Once they're nice and tight. You put your new plate cover on and you put your two screws on your plate cover. And that's it. And that's that's once your screws are tight, you're done. As you can see, you can test the GFI by hitting the test button and the reset button and you'll notice that the light goes on and off, letting you know that the outlet is functioning properly. Thank you very much and I hope you like this video. If you'd like a written copy of this tutorial, please go to doityourselfthistime.com. Once again, that's doityourselfthistime.com. Thank you very much and see you on my next video.